Today I'm talking with Dr. Maya Ackerman, an AI professor at Santa Clara University. She's the co-creator of Alicia, an AI songwriter. So tell me the story about how did Alicia start? Oh, that's an excellent question. I started wondering if I could do anything, anything at all, what would I want to do? And it popped in my mind that one of the things that I definitely want to do, regardless of anything else, is to be able to write my own original songs. And so I got started. I, of course, continued with my voice lessons. I learned how to produce music, which was kind of a very interesting undertaking. I took piano lessons, I took improvisation lessons. There were just so many pieces to writing a songs, and I got stuck on creating vocal melodies. I could make up vocal melodies, but they were terrible. I couldn't imagine ever performing them or spending the time, wasting the time producing them when I discovered a field called computational creativity, which is a subfield of AI that's uh, not quite as well known, but that looks at the computer as a potential co-creative partner or an autonomous creator, not just a tool, but, but a real collaborator. And in that instance, during the very first talk that I've ever attended on computational creativity, when somebody in passing mentioned that a computer can be a co-creative partner, I thought, I need to create myself a songwriting collaborator so that I can achieve my personal dream. Alicia has evolved to now it's it is available right to people online and you can like log in and start co-creating music with Alicia exactly yeah so right now we made the technology available for everybody we put it up on trialicia.com so you can log in create yourself a free account and try it out so it does vocal melodies it does non vocal melodies it also does drum tracks and creates uh, accompanying chords and so you mentioned that Alicia is basically kind of does some machine learning, trains herself on thousands of songs. I think you mentioned about 6,000 songs or so that exactly. she's analyzed so far. Is that an ongoing thing? Like it keeps learning and building, I guess, maybe its database and insights into what sounds good to, to us? Is that oh. how she works? Oh, definitely. So there is, there is a feedback loop whereby we can allow Alicia to keep learning from new songs. Um, but that's something that we, that we also plan to expand on, right. letting her lo learn in real time. Also, letting her get to know the users. So if she can figure out that if a certain user has a certain preference, we'll be able to integrate this kind of technology as well. So we're actually here at the Rodin Sculpture Garden at Stanford. And so just looking around here, you see all these beautiful sculptures created. And just having this conversation with you made me think, who owns the rights to these compositions? Well, that's actually fairly simple. Whoever uses Alicia, that person keeps all the rights to the songs that get created. Because the purpose of Alicia is not to glorify artificial intelligence. The purpose is to enable humans to be more expressive, to express what they want to express through music. So the rights are all theirs. I'm sure like some viewers would worry about maybe is that computers are so much better at data cran crunching than we are. So they could do it at scale, like because somebody could just create thousands of AI composers or sculptors and you know outcompete us just by sheer numbers in some ways. But it's not so simple. Computers have an edge as far as generation, especially as far as speed generation. They can right. generate very if they can do anything, they can do it very fast but they're not as good at picking out the really great stuff out of what they're creating, right? So there are some very real barriers. So at the moment, um, I don't think that being replaced by an AI in any form of art is really something that's likely to happen anytime soon, at least, because of the very real hindrances in the field. Um, so. That's partially why we want Alicia to help people, because that's a lot more of a worthy goal, in my opinion. And so Alicia, in the mission and 
vision for it is not to actually create an autonomous AI composer, but it is to create an AI assistant. Exactly. What would be the point, right? Um, music is about expression. Art is about expression. So if we're not helping people express themselves, then why bother? Oh, yeah, sure, maybe for academic curiosity, but I don't think that's a, that wouldn't be a strong enough drive for me. Alicia was created originally to help me express myself. And the real joy is to watch other people express themselves more fully with Alicia's help. And that's the beginning and the end of why we're doing Alicia. <laughs>